Hello and welcome to Live in the Solution. I'm your astrologer and tarot card reader Mary Trimble and I'm here with your readings for May the 13th through May the 19th. I'm going to apologize in advance for coughing and spluttering if I do. I've been, um, I would say under the weather but a bit worse than that. I've been under the blankets. <coughs> so, but I'm determined to get through this. Okay, so um, guys, if you're new, welcome. I'm so happy that you're um, that you've stopped by, and I really hope you enjoy these readings, and that you'll come back. And if you are returning, thank you. I really appreciate your loyalty and support of my channel. Now, these are general readings, guys. So please don't assume everything that I say in every reading pertains to you. Um, just if it resonates with you, you know, run with it, and if it doesn't, let it go. Um, and come back, maybe it'll make sense to you after the week is over. I do get feedback sometimes like that. Now, uh, what else? I am doing a workshop and I've already got a couple of people on, uh, on the waiting list. Um, I'm, I need at least six participants to actually do this workshop and it is, um, you can go to my website and find out a little bit more, but it is, uh, meet your spirit guide. So it's a four week uh, workshop. It's four hours. So it'll be one hour a week. It'll be interactive. And so it should be fun. So I hope you guys will consider that. Now, as I said before, these are general readings. So um, if you would like a personal in-depth reading, please click on this link here. And another way to support my channel is through Patreon. And that link is right here too. Um, you can go to my Patreon page and make one donation, um, which is, you know, no donation is too small. Um, or you can do a monthly one for a uh, dollar a month, as little as a dollar a month and as much as you want. There's different uh, uh, reward tiers and you can check it out anyway. I post things on there that I don't post anywhere else. Um, now, uh, well, and you know, of course, if you don't just please, you know, like, share and comment. Um, and that's all, that's a way of supporting me too. Now, um, these are in three sections. I now do a general ast astrology reading, uh, and that goes on the beginning of every reading and I'll have the skip times in the show more section below. These are for your sun, moon and rising and those, uh, so all the skip times for everything will be below, will be below. There'll be a, uh, the intro skip time, the astrology skip time, and you can go straight to the tarot card readings if you want. Um, so let's go to your reading, shall we? Hi, welcome to your astrology section of the reading and bear with me because my mind is mind is a little um, fuzzy, not a little, a lot. It feels like there's a basketball inside my head anyway. Um, so this week there is a lot going on astrologically guys. Wednesday is a huge day. We have Venus moving into Taurus. Um, and Venus is at home in Taurus. Venus rules Taurus. It's the planet that rules Taurus. It's very tactile. Um, it's very uh, demonstrative. It's very romantic um, and very intimate. And Taurus is an earth sign and it's about banking and money and security and resources. And Venus is about finance, beauty, nature, music, art, fashion, and relationships. Now, um, this would be a really good time to go out and really uh, be in nature. Even if it's at a park in the middle of the city, you know. Uh, I mean, there are beautiful places. Appreciate it. Be in it. Just, you know, be one with nature. This is all about... Uh, You'll feel grounded and you'll feel much calmer being in nature. Uh, now, this is a time of closeness, showing love and expressing it freely. Ask yourself, are you coming from a place of love? Check in with yourself a couple of times each day. Now, Venus is joining the Sun, Mercury and Uranus. Um, now that, that's four planets in Taurus, right? So look at your needs 
in your relationship? Where, what, what, what is lacking in your relationship? What do you need from your relationship? Um, take a look at your finances or your quality of life on the whole. Take time for yourself to pamper yourself, to make yourself feel alive and, and worthy and abundant. And what, you know, what, ask yourself what needs to change here? Chances are you've been working on changing something for a while. Um, <clears throat> so this could come to a completion because full moons, or oh, I haven't got to the full moon part. I'm going way ahead of myself. See, I told you my head's fuzzy. Anyway, let's talk about later that day on Wednesday. The same day Mars moves into Cancer. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> this is about your home. It's about protection and action. It's about your parents and roots. Mars in Cancer internalizes kind of feelings and it's, it's more gentle. It's less, you know, uh, aggressive in Cancer. And Cancer is also a cardinal sign and femininity. There's a lot, look, Venus is feminine, Taurus is a feminine sign, you know, Mars in Cancer is kind of that fem feminine energy. There's a lot of feminine energy this week. So, <clears throat> Cancer is the cardinal sign, a feminine sign, and Mars is the soldier. How can you, uh, how can you secure and protect your home? What action can you take? Do you need to renovate or spruce it up or organize your home? It's a good time to kind of do some organization. Now, Saturday, we have the full moon in Scorpio. I put a, I put a, blo a blog post up. If you go to my website, you can see it. And also, guys, I have to mention... I have a Facebook group now for Live in the Solution. I'll put that link before so we can you can post things, we can discuss things. It's about astrology, it's about life, it's about the solution. So we're going to if you're going to share, share something solution oriented or you know just your opinion on whatever. Now, Scorpio is intense, right? It's one of the most intense signs in the zodiac. It's very deep. It's the detective. It's deeply emotional. Scorpio is in the, it is the eighth house, right? Scorpio represents the eighth house. The house of transformation, of sexuality, death and rebirth and purification. It's about getting in touch with what needs to change, what needs to be dealt with. The moon will shed a light on that which needs purification. So think of the phoenix and how it rises from the ashes, purified and transformed into this beautiful bird. <clears throat> this is about finding your power. It's about found, finding the power within. It's about owning it. It's about standing in it. It's about being confident of your power. Now, the sun is opposite because full moons are always opposite. It's the sun shining on the moon, right? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so the sun is in the opposite, right opposite. It's in Taurus. So, <coughs> I'm sorry. This is feminine, it's a feminine earth sign. And it's shining on the rippling sea and deep dark water of the feminine Scorpio. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is, as I said before, it's a lot of feminine energy. It's like the high priestess energy, intuitive and psychic, knowledgeable. And secretive, under wraps sometimes, right? We, but things are going to come to the surface because the full moon sheds a light in the shadows, right? 
Taurus and Scorpio are fixed signs and fixed signs are kind of immovable. It's hard to change someone's mind once they've made it up, you know, in this, in this energy. So it's really good to look at where you're fixed in your life. You know, it's, can you transfer, tra transform that idea, that opinion that you have? Practice being open and considering others' point of view and imagine yourself in their shoes and how they will feel, how they feel um, with their set of circumstances. Um, this is the practice of empathy. And that's it for the astrology section of your reading. Let's go to your card, shall we? Hello Virgo and welcome to your reading for uh, your tarot card section of your reading for May the uh, 13th through May the 19th and this is the last shuffle I've been shuffling them for a while okay uh, three cards for Virgo please three cards for Virgo three cards for Virgo wonderful blessings guidance and helpful information can you give Virgo that's one two more cards for Virgo one two one more card for Virgo is that coming out yep two of them I'm going to give you the two yes it did okay okay now we have clarifying cards for Virgo so Clarifying cards, please clarify the King of Wands for Virgo, please, please clarify. Oh, 5,000 cards came up. Please clarify. There it is. Oh, lovely. Please clarify the page of... Oh, there's a lot of passion this week for you guys, I think. A lot of passion. <coughs> Please clarify the page of... Oh, oh, there we are. Lovely. And you have two cards here. Please clarify the... Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, let's look at your cards, Virgo. The first card out for you is the uh, King of Wands. And then you have the Sun. And then you have the Page of Wands. Clarifying the Page of Wands is the Ace of Wands. And the Four of Wands, all this passion. Sorry, the Three of Wands. Then you have the uh, Knight of Swords and you have the Two of Pentacles followed by the Four of Wands. Okay, the King of Wands is your first card out, and he is passionate, and he's lo he's the host with the mostest. He loves to party. He likes um, he likes uh, novelty. He likes new things. He he gets bored quite easily. This actually is saying that it's a really good time to socialize. That's what I'm getting for you. This is a, a really good time to go out there and shine and to socialize. <coughs> Excuse me. And I mean, just remember when the King of Wands comes up, it's saying, yes, go out and be it, there's a lot of passion going on, right? There's a lot of passion happening. There's a lot of change this week. There's a lot, there's, you know, planets moving into different signs. That's always changeable. And then we have this new moon, right? The full moon, I mean, in Scorpio. And that's all, you know, this full moon in Scorpio can be about sexuality. So this is like some of you are going to have some fun this week. <laughs> Clarifying is the sun, right? So I feel that it's a really good time to go out and meet people. And the sun is shining on you. And this is a very auspicious, very positive, very bright, um, wonderful card. So, yes, you are in the sunlight. And then the next card is the Page of Wands. This is definite. This is 
this is opportunity coming in for you. I feel like a lot's happening this week. And there's two cards clarifying this. This is an opportunity that comes in. The pages are messengers, right? And you've got... I've, they're also indicators that you're ready to go on to the next phase of your life, um, which might be the case because you have the Ace of Wands. This is a new beginning. This is the spark that starts a flame, that starts a huge roaring fire. This is passion. This is growth. This is opportunity. Opportunity not stalling. And then you've got the Three of Wands. And the Three of Wands is stalling optimism. This is like looking, you know, this is make long-term optimistic plans. He's waiting for a ship to come in. He's not like longing for it to come in. He's not it's not like he's not sure it's going to come. He knows the ship's coming in. And if you know your ship's coming in, you do make long-term optimistic plans, right? So that's what you're being asked to do. This is a very, very, wow. This is a really good kind of, there's major stuff on the table for you, uh, Virgo. <clears throat> and you have the two of pentacles. You are the master juggler anyway, and you are always busy. You're busy because, you know, it's more, it's easier for you to be busy sometimes than to feel your feelings. And, and, and that's good. This week you really have to focus because I always think of the two of pentacles as really, look, if you don't, if you take your eye off the ball, it can fall. You could be juggling two jobs. You could be ju juggling, <coughs> excuse me, your home and work. You can be juggling, you know, your children and your love. I mean, there's, you know, you're being pulled in a couple of directions. That's what this is. And you've got the, right next to it, you've got the, um, the Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords, he's like the champion for justice. It's, it's important not to take any shortcuts this week. Keep it on the up and up forever. Be completely honest with people, you know, not brutally necessarily, but, you know, kind and compassionate. I say that to my sister. She's a Virgo, kind and compassionate. Kathleen, don't forget that. And don't be quick to judge sometimes, too. Sometimes we're quick to judge, right? We're quick to make a judgment. He comes in and he's got his, he comes in with his sword, wielding his sword. And if you're doing something nefarious, he's like off with the head. <laughs> so keep your head, darling. <laughs> Do not lose your head. And clarifying those two cards is the four of wands. So I feel that there's a wonderful foundation being built here for something. And usually this is, well, look, there's a happy couple there. This could be a happy home life and work life. This is something that, this is a foundation that's solid, that's being built. This is chemistry. This is, you know, a celebratory card. This is something that you feel good at, something, something you feel good about. Um, and probably that you're good at. I just see so much passion this week. So much passion for you, Virgo. I'm so happy. Um, please don't forget to like this video, share it on your social media and comment. I always answer every comment. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Mwah! I love you all and I'll see you next week.